What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Rita. How y'all doing today? I hope this video finds you guys feeling good and good health. No drama. Just having a peaceful day, a peaceful week. Um, I wanted to come and give you guys a one of my sides, a sides video. In this video, let me turn on some light. I'm going to show you guys how I do... My um, garlic parmesan mashed potatoes. Again, that's my garlic parmesan mashed potatoes, you guys. It's a little extra, doing a little extra <laughs> for some mashed potatoes, but I'm telling y'all, y'all will love this. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead on and click like on this video. I think you're going to like this one. And just give me a like just because you just like me. <laughs> I'll take it, okay? So what I'm starting with is two sticks of butter. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so that when I do a video, you will get the notification. Click that notification bell. Like I said, this is just a quick video. I was making some um, chicken, and I'm going to do this um, these mashed potatoes. And this is my garlic parmesan mashed potatoes what we're going for right here in this pan you guys is we want to get this butter real good and melted let it start getting kind of like to the brown stage okay i'm just gonna let this sit right in here uh by the time you see this video i hope you've already checked out my other video on what is that on there on um, my roasted chicken, I'm gonna I do a video. My newest video is my roasted. Um, oh God, I'll be messing up the name because it's long, but it's a garlic herb garlic but herb <laughs> herb herb garlic butter roasted chicken. <laughs> The garlic butter, the herb garlic butter is everything. So I, I want to put that in the description of the roasted chicken. But so by the time y'all see this one, I should have already posted that one. Or they, they will post together. They'll be de delicious together. I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be eating these mashed potatoes with that, um, with that chicken, you guys, and some vegetables. I have this on high. And what I'm just waiting for this to do is just get a little bit brown. And it's probably taking a little bit longer because this is two sticks of butter. You guys, and the reason why I have two sticks of butter is because I did about 12 um, uh, potatoes. I did uh, Yukon Gold and Russet potatoes together. And you just boil them like you normally would boil your um, potatoes, okay? And some salted water. So normally I would be doing one stick of butter, but I have a big old giant thing of mashed potatoes, of, of potatoes. So I wanted to make sure I did enough butter. To this butter, you guys, what you're going to add is, um, you don't have to add this, but I'm adding a few little, um, like a half of a shallot into the butter. Now you can, you can omit this if you want, but I love this. It goes so good with the garlic, and it just brings out the taste of those mashed potatoes. You can use fresh, um, fresh uh, garlic, or you can use this garlic, minced garlic, in the tube or in the containers that you find. And I'm going to put a lot of garlic in mine, you guys, but I would say to at least do two heaping tablespoons if you're just doing a regular thing of it. But I love a lot of garlic, you guys. And I like, if it says garlic in the name, <laughs> garlic parmesan mashed potatoes, baby, I want that garlic to say my name, say my name, okay? Yeah, this is definitely what I want right here. Turn it down just a little bit. And all you want to do, you guys, you can let that uh, garlic get some little crispy edges on it. It's totally fine. All it's going to do is just taste 
delicious down in that um, in those mashed potatoes okay once you have this all incorporated I'm going to show you my, I'm going to let this cook for just a second. I'm going to show you my potatoes. Now, these are my potatoes. They've already been washed. They've already been cleaned. They've already been boiled. And I'm just going to leave them right in this pot that I boiled them in. And like I said, I left the skin on. For this one, you guys, you might want the skin off. And you may prefer to whip your potatoes. Turns out really good when it's whipped. I just don't prefer whipped potatoes. I prefer mashed potatoes. But with this, it's definitely good to, if you if you like whipped potatoes, this is a good way to do them as well. You can use a blender and whip them, you know. But I just don't prefer to do that with my potatoes. Okay, so this is looking good. It's almost like a brown butter, you know. Yummy. Smells delicious in my kitchen today with all these herbs and uh, garlic. I'm just getting down in here today. So I'm going to turn you over uh, to the potatoes. Let's go over there. Okay, you guys. So here we are over here with the potatoes. We're just going to take that butter mixture and we're just going to pour them right down over these potatoes. You want to make sure your potatoes are soft, fing uh, fork tender and soft. And we're just going to get all that goodness out of that pan. And we're just going to go right over these potatoes. This is going to give this a, such a taste, you guys. Oh, my God. You're going to love it. Okay? So we have that. Now we're just going to go right and get our masher. And I'm going to season. What I'm going to be seasoning these with, you guys, is some salt and some pepper. And my uh, Kinder's seasoning the master salt that's got the garlic sea salt and the butter in it and i think i use this one a lot and uh, about two tablespoons for a regular person but you know i just be pouring on it pour it on here till my ancestors say child that's enough okay you have seasoned them very well and then i stop okay but you can if you want measurements i always say on seasoning start with two tablespoons Okay, black pepper. Salt. Okay. That other is a salt as well. Potatoes are pretty hard to season. They're hard to salt, so don't be scared. Don't be scared. Now we're going to take the gotcha gotcha baby and that's some grated Parmesan cheese. You need about a fourth of a cup, half a cup. Depends on how much. Once you start making this, you'll know how much you need for your amount of potatoes or whatever. But I would say anywhere from a fourth to a half a cup of uh, potato, uh, potatoes, of um, Parmesan, grated Parmesan. And if you want to grate some fresh Parmesan, Parmesan cheese, be my guest. I like to... When it's a Sunday meal and I'm just trying to get through and sit down, I want to do everything that I can to get through. You know what I'm saying? So, we're just going to mash this. Now, like I said, if you want them to be more of a whipped potato and not a mashed potato, take out your little uh, electric blender and just whip them suckers right on up. It's good like that, too. The first time I had it, it was like that <clears throat> in a restaurant. And I asked them about these, these, those potatoes because I was like, them potatoes was a bump. But I knew I wasn't going to want mine like, like watery like that. I mean, they're not watery, but y'all know what I'm saying. Uh, what's the word? They're not master. Um, I said it earlier. I'm going to pour a little milk in here, you guys, for some creaminess and some, uh, you can use water if you want to. Uh, but y'all know how I am by using water, milk, or some uh, chicken broth or something like that in my mashed potatoes. Because I want that that taste, that flavor. I don't, I don't want to lose that flavor at all, okay? And you just do whatever you can to, to enhance flavor, bring flavor out. That's what you always want to do, okay? Ooh, y'all smell so good in my house with all this garlic going everywhere. 
I cannot, okay? I really cannot. Okay, we're getting there. And all you want to do is you want to just keep on working on it until you get it to the consistency that you like. And you want to taste it as you go so you'll know if you got the taste you want. So this is how, this is just a little taste. You want to give a little sample? So what you think I need? Wow. Ooh, that's good. Okay. I don't need nothing else. All I need to do is get this to the consistency that I want. And when I get them to the consistency that I want, I'm going to sprinkle me some little parsley on the top to make it cute. And I'm going to be done, y'all. So we're just going to keep on mashing. Yeah, I like mine just like this. A little bit lumpy, a little bit clumpy. That's how I like mine. Sorry if that noise is getting on your nerves. Okay. Get that big piece right there. That's a big, big old piece. Big old jumbo piece of potato. Big old jumbo pieces. Yeah, but I think I'm satisfied with this, y'all. What y'all looking like? Y'all like, what do y'all like? Y'all like cream potatoes, mashed potatoes. Potato puree, whipped potatoes, you know, so many different ways. But this recipe will work for any of them, okay? This is my garlic parmesan mashed potatoes, okay? I'm going to taste them again. Okay. Get now my mashed potatoes. Give me my potatoes, child. Give me my potatoes. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yes, y'all. That is it. And that is it. Actually, that is my garlic parmesan mashed potatoes. Featuring butter, garlic, shallots, potatoes and a little milk y'all and it's ready ready another side for y'all to, to try let me know if y'all try this one i'm just gonna pour me some celery i'm not celery some parsley on the top of this make it look like i really did something you could have some reserve uh butter and once you get it all in the get it like you want it you can drizzle that that uh, butter on the top, put you some parsley on there and make that thing look good, good, okay? I might do that. I'll take a picture if I decide to do that. But that's it, you guys. Garlic, parmesan, mashed potatoes. Open your mouth, get you a bite. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video if you like the video, whether you like the video or you're not. Give me a thumbs up. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. Like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you're always notified when I do a video. That's it for this one, you guys. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. Don't forget, y'all, your food ain't all the way live until it's been read it, read it Thank you so much for riding with me. I appreciate all the love and all the support. You just don't know, but I hope you know. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.